This is the Lockpicking Lawyer, and what I have for you today is the OnGuard Mastiff Bicycle Chain Lock. These come in several different versions with varying chain thicknesses and lengths. Underneath this nylon sleeve, this particular one has an 8mm thick chain that's about 80 centimeters long. But if you do want something just a little bit beefier, you can opt for a 10mm thick chain. This is a fully integrated bike lock with both a chain and a mechanism for securing it, all as part of one package. The key to this package is a bit unusual with its inner groove design, and it fits into what OnGuard calls a Z-key cylinder. That's a dual sidebar lock with each sidebar controlled by a separate bank of four sliders, so eight sliders total. Now I have picked quite a few of these Z-key cylinders in the past, but this one is a bit more challenging because there is an extraordinary amount of spring tension on the core. Let me show you just how much. Now if I let go of this key, you can see just how quickly that springs back. So because of that heavy spring tension, I'm going to have to apply a lot of torque to that core just to get the sliders to bind. It also means I'm going to have to use a very sturdy tension tool. Fortunately for me, however, I tend to like heavier tension, and my normal tension tool of choice for this lock is 80 thousandths of an inch thick, so sturdiness is not going to be a problem. We do have heavy spring tension on that shutter as well, and when I insert my tool into the lock, you can see it holds the two gates of that shutter open so they don't interfere with my pick. The pick I'm going to be using is this standard hook in 18 thousandths, and I'm going to insert it sideways and then twist to lift the sliders up. So let's see if we can get this open. Starting on the right side bank of sliders, first one is binding, got a click out of him. Nothing on two. Three is binding tightly. Got a click out of him and a little movement on the core. Number four. Mm. Okay, got a little click out of him and a tiny bit more movement on the core. Back to the beginning. Nothing on one, two, three, or four. I think we might have that right side set. I'm going to switch over to the left side. I'm also switching fingers on tension because this is digging so deeply into my finger, it actually hurts. I'm probably going to switch it back a couple of times. Okay, nothing on slider one. Slider two, got a nice click out of him, little movement on the core. Nothing on three or four. Back to the beginning. Number one is binding, and it popped right open. So, as you could see, once, once we figured the tension out, picking this open really didn't take very long. But because it does require a very special technique for picking, I really don't think lock picking is a likely real world threat. However, I do have a few concerns about the construction of this lock, which I'll probably investigate in a future video, so stay tuned for that. But that's all I have for you today. If you do have any questions or comments about this, please put them below. If you like this video and would like to see more like it, please subscribe, and as always, have a nice day. Thank you.